Hello and welcome to the ICGB. We are an international organisation uh, comprising 66 member countries and we have research institutes located here in Trieste in Italy, which is also our headquarters, and we have laboratories in New Delhi and also in Cape Town. Our mandate is to perform research and education in various areas of the life sciences and thereby provide uh, development opportunities and capacity enhancement for our member countries. In a nutshell, it is science for development. And here in Trieste, we have over 200 scientists working in the laboratories and they come from over 40 different countries from all over the world. Welcome to my laboratory, Tumor Virology. We're interested in human papillomaviruses, which are the major causative agents of cervical cancer. As I'm sure many people realize, this is a really devastating problem in developing parts of the world, and obviously this is very important for the ICGB community. Our research is focused on understanding how the virus causes cancer and thereby aiming to develop novel forms of therapeutic intervention. We're also interested in how the virus actually gets into the target cell and thereby aim to develop novel ways of blocking virus transmission. ICGB is very fortunate to have a world-class uh, microscopy facility. We have microscopes with super resolution for confocal analysis and we also have a very high quality life cell imaging platforms. We also have high content microscopes which allows analysis of multiple channels and very high throughput content analysis, very large sample sets. Welcome to the Molecular Virology Laboratory. This is headed by Alessandro Marcello, who is a world leading virologist, and he also happens to be the PhD coordinator for our PhD program. The laboratory's interest is primarily on flaviviruses. These are a very important group of viruses which are born by ticks or through uh, mosquitoes, and which can really cause a very wide range of different human diseases. More recently, they have been driving the way forward with their work on COVID and have made outstanding contributions towards our understanding of the disease through disease surveillance and through the development of potentially novel therapeutics. Welcome to the ICGB High Throughput Facility. Uh, beside me is one of the central pieces of equipment here, which is a high content microscope and which really forms the bedrock of what we do here. This facility allows us to screen in a high throughput small molecules, whether these are siRNA, microRNAs, or small compounds, for various activities. This can be used in drug discovery, it can be used for basic research to understand cell signaling pathways, and it can be also be used to identify novel ways of uh, treating various diseases or combating various infections. ICGB also has a very uh, high-end fax facility. We have several machines which play fundamental roles in a lot of our research. These can be used for sorting cells in complex mixtures. They can be used in immunological assays to monitor disease progression and the immune response. And also they have very basic roles to play in analysis of cell cycle, induction of apoptosis, and so on and so forth. In the bacteriology group, we are uh, studying plant-associated microbial communities. The reason for this is that they are very, very important for plant health. So what we're interested in is how the plant recruits the microbes from the soil in order to establish beneficial associations. So how does the plant communicate with the microbes in order to recruit them? And how the microbes themselves communicate with each other in order to form a stable cooperative community, much like an, a multicellular organism. In parallel to this, we are very interested to develop plant probiotics, so to use some of these microbes to develop products that can be used in agriculture for uh, the reduction, for reducing the use of agrochemicals, so making agriculture much more sustainable. 